Hey everyone, Sarah here from Get Feedback. Welcome to another episode of Simplifying CX. If you're new to this series, these videos are all about providing you the straightforward answers to some of the biggest CX challenges that you're facing. So if this sounds relevant to you, don't forget to subscribe. All right, so today we're gonna to talk about the Net Promoter Score, also known as NPS, which is one of the most popular customer loyalty metrics. I'm gonna first talk to you about why NPS is important, then I'm gonna explain how to measure it, and then I'm gonna show you how to use this metric. Net Promoter Score is a customer loyalty metric used by companies to evaluate the overall customer relationship and end-to-end -end experience. NPS is quite popular in executive circles because it's easy to understand and communicate the concept of increasing advocacy. It's also the most commonly used metric overall. In fact, it's used by 83% of CX programs, according to Customer Think. Okay, so how do you measure it? The Net Promoter Score is measured by asking, how likely are you to recommend us to a friend or a colleague? The respondent ranks the likelihood on a scale of zero to 10. Zero being highly unlikely, 10 being extremely likely. You can also add an option for the respondent to leave a comment and explain his or her rating. On the rating system, people who select nine or 10 on the NPS survey are considered promoters. People who select seven or eight are passives and people who select six or below are detractors. NPS is calculated by subtracting the percentage of detractors from the percentage of promoters. Generally speaking, a score of 50 is excellent, and a score that is 75 or above is considered world-class. The Net Promoter Score is a relationship metric. As a relationship metric, the NPS survey should be sent out annually and every 90 days to gather an overall assessment of how customers perceive the brand, its products, services, and support delivered. NPS is not a touchpoint metric like CSAT and CES, which is why it's super important to use all three metrics in your CX program to get the full view of how the customer is experiencing your brand. Also, keep in mind that NPS has some technical challenges because it's calculated by subtracting two percentages. This means that two companies can have the same NPS score, but quite different composition of promoters and detractors. For example, an NPS of 20% can be achieved with 60% promoters minus 40% detractors, or 25% promoters minus 5% detractors. In summary, the net promoter score is used to measure long-term customer satisfaction and loyalty. It's the big picture metric. For a complete guide on how to use the NPS, check out the link that's in the description section of this video. Also, if you have any topics you want us to cover, let us know in the comments section. And don't forget to subscribe now so you never miss a video that simplifies CX. Until next time.